Good morning, Yonada. I'm Juan Carlos. This week's video of the Visa Director for Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Attention all AP students. If you haven't received it already, an email has been sent out about a free remote learning resources and an at-home testing option this year. Exams will be from May 11th to the 22nd, while make updates will be from June 1st to June 5th. Now, here's some updates from our sophomore officer. Hey Granada, I'm Tatum Petit, your sophomore class vice president. Due to the quarantine, most of our events and fundraisers did have to get postponed. But voting polls are finally up, so make sure you go and vote for your next year's class officers. The most important thing to do during this time is to stay safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing you all back at school so we can start planning again. Stay classy, Granada. Any students wanting to join leadership for the 2020-2021 school year must turn in their applications before May 1st. And now here's Will with an update on our current situation. Hey everyone, my name is Will and today I'll be sharing with you some coronavirus updates. Over the past weekend, Italy's Prime Minister gave a televised address where he stated that Italy will begin to relax its coronavirus lockdown. This includes reopening parks and allowing people to visit their relatives in small numbers as long as they're wearing masks. This is a huge step for the European country since they were one of the hardest hit by the virus. Now, let's go about 5,000 miles northeast to Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the COVID-19 virus. This once deserted and strictly quarantined city has seen its last COVID-19 patient leave the hospital, which follows the city reopening a little over three weeks ago. This is a bright spot in the lives of Wuhan citizens since they suffered a total of 2,500 reported coronavirus deaths. Heading back to the US, an article published by the New York Times found that people who smoke or vape tobacco and marijuana products during this time are more susceptible to contracting the virus. A study conducted by University of North Carolina's cell biology professor Robert Tarrin found that vape-exposed mice are more susceptible to viral and bacterial infections, which includes COVID-19. Vaping also is helping spread the virus, says Dr. Winnikoff from Harvard Medical School. He says, many of my patients who smoke or vape have increased coughing, which is a recipe for increased spread. I know that most of the stuff that I've been talking about has been sad, so let's head over to some happier stories around the world. Recently, both Florida and Thailand have seen record-breaking numbers of turtle nests on their beaches, which are normally crowded during this time of year. In England, a 15-year-old girl transformed a wall in her room into a climbing structure in just one week. My last story for today is back in Florida, where the police department in Fort Myers made a harp with their vehicles outside of Lee Memorial Hospital to show their support for their healthcare workers who are risking their lives every day to combat the virus. Well, that's all I have for you today, Granada. Back to you, Juan. Thanks, Will. Granada students, voting is almost over for all next year class presidents. If you haven't already, you can go vote in the link below. Your ID and password is your student ID. Voting closes tomorrow. Seniors, do we have some news for you? For those all wondering about graduation, we will have a revised graduation ceremony this year which consists of student reception of the diplomas and a broadcast and speeches. They also have one day about a week before graduation where they celebrate us seniors using a drive through system to distribute senior brunch, fit letters, senior awards, and caps and gowns. If the shelter in place restrictions were lifted before June 5th and allows us to have large group gatherings safely, then we will be able to have a full traditional ceremony as close to June 5th as possible. We'd also like to thank the work of the student and parent committees that helped us through this process. Starting this week, we'd like to congratulate seniors who have been recently accepted into colleges. Hi, my name is Vijay Mula, and I will be attending San Francisco State University for studio broadcasting. My name is Caitlin Wiesner, and I'm going to Washington State to study biochemistry. I'm Kyle Stowe. I committed to Grand Canyon University, and I'm double majoring in marketing and sports management. I'm James. I will be attending UC Berkeley as a molecular and cell biology major. Hi there, my name is Paige Dawson and I'm gonna be attending Chico State in the fall and I'm majoring in communications and getting my teaching credential and I can't wait to see all my future Wildcats there. If you'd like to be mentioned in the next week's or future Lavisos, contact us using this email. Good morning, Renata, I'm Anastasia and this is your Nerdy News. <laughs> It worked for Trolls World Tour, and now Warner Bros. is going to try and do it with Scoob. The new Scooby-Doo prequel, Scoob, was due to hit theaters on May 15th. 
The film is done, and with there being a bit of a traffic jam on the box office schedule, it's now going to have to head to premium video on demand. The film will be available for rental on May 15th for 20 bucks, or if you prefer to purchase it, it will set you back about $25. <laughs> In the history of mystery. <laughs> Not bad. Nailed it. Scoop hits video on demand for rental and purchase on May 15th. After what has seemed like years of talk, Warner Bros. has announced that HBO Max will be launching May 27th. With a mixture of in-demand older content and original productions, HBO Max could quickly shoot up the list of must-have streaming services. The service will launch with the likes of Friends, The Big Bang Theory, and South Park on the TV side of things. On the film side, you'll see titles like Casablanca, Joker, and The Wizard of Oz. Beyond HBO content, you'll also find content from CNN, TNT, TBS, True TV, Turner Classic Movies, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Crunchyroll, Rooster Teeth, and Looney Tunes. While the service will launch with over 10,000 hours of content, it will be missing some of the original content it had hoped to use as anchors, one of the most notable being the Friends reunion. The special was set to be filmed, but the coronavirus pandemic caused the date to be postponed. There is no indication as of now when it could film. HBO Max will be costing about $15 a month, same cost as HBO at the time. At this time. Existing HBO customers will get HBO Max at no additional cost. According to at least one analyst, it will be some time before anyone will be able to return to Disneyland and Disney World, thanks to this pandemic. Disney began closing its U.S. theme parks on March 13th. It then announced on the 27th that the parks would remain closed until further notice. As this pandemic continues, Disney is continued canceling plans guests have with them further and further out. As it stands as of now, it seems unlikely that the parks will reopen before June. On Monday, Swiss banking giant UBS alerted investors that it feels as though Disney will not reopen its parks until January 1st of 2021, and that the attendance will more likely be no more than 50% of the 2019 levels for some time. Previous to this pandemic, Disneyland had only closed three previous times for the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the 9-11 terror attacks, and for an earthquake. And each of those times were for a day each. If anyone was going to be the best at social distancing while also simultaneously keeping all their friends happy and connected, it would be Leslie Nope. While we all bid a fond farewell to Leslie and the Parks and Rec crew in February of 2015, the gang is getting back together for one more show. Even better, it's one more show set in our current timeline. A brand new episode of Parks and Rec will air today at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC to raise money for Feeding America's COVID-19 Response Fund. The show will include the whole original cast, which includes Amy Poehler, Rashida Jones, Aziz Ansari, Nick Offerman, Chris Pratt, Adam Scott, Aubrey Plaza, Rob Lowe, Jim O'Hare, and Retta. It will follow the Parks and Rec cast's attempt to stay connected while also staying apart Attempts that are, of course, spearheaded by everyone's favorite government employee, Leslie No. If you want to watch it, then the easiest way to do so is obviously to tune in via your, te your television. NBC is free to watch over the air, so as long as you have cable or digital antenna, you should be good to go. Well, that's all for today, Granada. I'm Anastasia, and this has been your Nudie News. Stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. Well, that's all for today, Granada. I'm Juan Carlos. This has been your video of the week for April 30th, 2020. Have a great day and stay classy.